Austin Voices, what I love about them is their understanding that it's more than just the education aspect. Uh, it, it's a lot about the student's life, which encompasses outside of, of their academic. From my recollection, they were one of the first that decided to invest and make an impact in this, in this uh, area of our city. And I admire that. I first met Alan and Julie Weeks in about 2008 when they were working on turning around Reagan, now Northeast Early College High School. Um, one thing that I noticed when we were getting to know each other was his, was Alan and Julie's desire to wrap around uh, the students and their families so that there was more stability in the school. And one of those com key components of stability is healthcare. And so it was, an, it was an early outreach to making sure that students and their families were healthy, they could attend school, that reduces mobility, that increases educational um, success when you do those kinds of things. Central Health has been partnering with Austin Voices for a long time. They have been helping us identify families in need of healthcare services through surveys, their basic needs surveys that they send out to every student in their schools um, through referrals that they would send into us so that we could follow up and also um, through the events that they host. We have connected with many families uh, at some of their large scale and very um, engaging events. Now Austin Voices is helping submit map applications and connecting families directly to the medical services and healthcare coverage that they need. They deserve it because they uh, are continuing to influence and make an impact in these families' lives. Uh, I also appreciate that they are willing to, you know, bring some of us other outside organizations in to understand what it means to serve, to understand what it means to love and care uh, for those we may not even know or come in contact with. Uh, they, have, they have invited my church uh, to be involved and we've been serving with them for the past, like I said, eight plus years. So that has, has touched my heart. Uh, and, and, and my congregation's hard to know, hey, we are here. We don't just come into this, uh, to East Austin and just leave. This is our community as well. And uh, thank you, Austin Voices, for allowing us to be a part of it. Thank you so much. I mean, for, for a, a, basically an education nonprofit to be honored by a health organization for health outcomes uh, actually confirms everything we're trying to do, which is, we, we just see it all one. Uh, for kids to get educated, they need to, they need to have access to health care. For parents to be able to support and have stable families, they need access to health care. And we, we, we oftentimes chop it up into different, you know, housing and health and education and other things. But when you get down to the family and especially low income families, you know, life isn't divided up like that. You know, health, work, education, raising your children is all one. So it is an honor to uh, just to work and, and to, to be able to connect to all the many resources and ways Central Health you know, supports um, our community and our low-income families. You know, around the world, healthcare is a basic need um, because healthy people, healthy families build healthy communities. And it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what your zip code, it doesn't matter your income level. We are we all have needs for health care and for health services. I'd like to congratulate Austin Voices for being our very first recipient of the Community Award. I can't think of a better and more fitting award for Austin Voices. You have made such a difference in the lives of students and their families at all the schools that you serve. You are so deserving of this award, and I am grateful that you are working in our community to make it safer, healthier, and to contribute to the ac academic success of our students. You are there for the community, as the award uh, is labeled. Uh, you have been in the, the Runberg Corridor and the St. John's area uh, all these years, and your impact and your influence, uh, not just through events and programs, but through uh, the personal relationships you make each and every day.